Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, we're going to talk about Roafoss and why it's so beneficial to run in our reef tanks. So what is Roafoss? Well, this here is the pure form of GFO. So this is even better, guys. If you guys use the other products and you see it's very granularly, really like sand, that's the byproduct of this. So this here is 100%. You're definitely getting your money's worth when you get this, guys. Best thing about this is when you're starting out like new reef tanks like myself, here, like the phosphates will be high when we start to do the cycle and what this will do it'll help absorb all those phosphates so it doesn't get back into the substrate and start to soak into our rocks so you end up having that issue further down the line so when you start a new reef tank you should use some roa so the definitely the best part of this is it's it's 100 percent so you're definitely getting your uh, money's worth it's very good for taking you know, po4 silica heavy metals aluminum when you get some of those other like heavy aluminum and stuff like that and high PO4, if you're using a real cheap um, uh, carbon, all right guys, you buy that cheap carbon, it's got a high uh, PO4 index, definitely run this, take that out of there right away. So try to make sure you invest in a good carbon guys, a good quality carbon. All right, so a few things here. With PO4 in our reef tanks, what happens, you end up having algae problems or it slows down coral growth. When that algae gets into the coral's skeleton, it definitely slows it down. And we know in this hobby, corals grow slow as it is, so you wanna make sure, keep the best environment in the water. We're not housing corals, guys, we're housing water. That's the most first important thing. Keep your water 100%, all your corals and fish will be happy. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, I'm gonna set up a little display. I'm gonna show you, it's very important to always uh, rinse out uh, your ROA before you put it into your tank. All right, gang, so I got a little setup for you here. So we have our fluid reactor from uh, Deltec. Uh, we have our Tunzi Silence Pump Return Pump that I'm gonna use uh, to run this uh, reactor. And then we have our ROA FOSS. So let's go ahead, let's put this all together and what we're gonna do. So we'll end up, we're gonna open up our reactor, do like this, just put that to the side. And then we're gonna fill our reactor. So best thing to do, is you, see, you guys can see, uh, the center tube for the flow of water. If you don't want to get that filled up, I'm just going to take my coral screwdriver, Don, and I'm just going to stick that in there so no water can, or row can get in the center of it. So we're going to open up our row of us, just like that. It's well sealed, comes with uh, instruction as well, and you guys can see it's really well sealed. So it's really nice stuff. It actually looks like, uh, looks like coffee, guys, as you guys can see. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up. So just take your time. I'll just put some in it so I can just show you guys how this is all gonna work here. So just like that. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put the top back on here. Just like that. And then we're gonna put the cover back on. Like that. We're gonna tighten up the, the connections. So we're gonna put this is our outlet where our uh, we rinse our rinse our uh, roa that's gonna fill up this bucket, and then this is where we're gonna put our silent fancy silent pump in here. Now this is a little gonna be a little too long. We're just gonna cut this so it, it fits a lot nicer. So like that, I'll measure it off. Cut this. We can turn this just a bit. It's nice with these here, you can actually move them. I'm just gonna hook that up. Just like that. Move the pump there. There we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug our uh, Tunzi Silence pump in. We're gonna rinse this out. So when, when this is all rinsed, you wanna make sure that uh, it just has a nice tumble to it, like, like uh, boiling water is slowly moving. That's how uh, you run uh, the ROA. All right guys, so let's plug this in. Let's get this all washed out. All right gang, so the pump is on. That's the Tunzi Silence, can you even hear it? So that pump is running right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this valve. The water is gonna go down through the fluid reactor through the middle of the tube, come up the bottom and start to rinse this out. So this is gonna fill up uh, like a really uh, dark color 
and it's gonna end up going into the bucket. We're gonna wash that out. And then as soon as it's nice and clean, we're gonna turn the valve down to get that nice tumble. And that's how you keep it active in your tank. So let's open uh, up the valve here, you guys can see. So the water's starting to go down the middle now. So you guys can see it's that brown color, like coffee color. So you're gonna, guys, you're gonna see it come out here. And this is how you end up, uh, you rinse it. So see that color, guys? So it's gonna rinse it right out really nice and clean. It's gonna take out any small little particles so we don't get that into our tank. So we just keep doing this until it uh, cleans itself out when the water starts coming out nice and clear. Let me turn it down a bit. So you guys can see it's starting to lighten up now because it's really starting to clean out guys so we're just gonna let that wash keep cleaning it out so always use RO water to, uh, to rinse your uh, your Roifos and then we're gonna turn this down so we get that nice tumble in the bottom and you'll be good to go so after you run this for uh, a couple weeks you want to test and make sure it's still active just uh, test the water that's coming out the outlet and if you have a uh, any uh, sign of uh, any PPM of phosphate, it's time to change it out. But whatever's coming out of here should have zero uh, phosphates going back into your tank, guys. So you guys, it's really starting to lighten up there now. So let's give it a little bit more. So let's just keep uh, running it a little bit more until it's really nice and clear. And then I'll bring you guys in close and then you guys can, I'll show you what you should turn it down to have that nice shimmer to it, all right? Okay, so we're all rinse clear. I'm gonna start turning this on now and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna get that tumble. So there you go guys. You see how it's tumbling right there? Everything's moving. So that means we're getting a lot of great surface area to take out the, that PO4. And any silicate or coppers or aluminums into your tank. So if you guys can keep it like that, nice tumble, you're good and it helps keep it from uh, like turning into a brick and hardening up. So you wanna make sure you get the full active out of uh, your uh, row of us. So that's how you uh, set this up guys. Just make sure you rinse it nice and clean and you're good to go. Well, there you go, gang. So that's the row foss that we're gonna be running on uh, these reef tanks. I want you guys to learn a little bit of how you set up a fluid reactor and then just rinse it all out. And if you wanna get the, you know, nice zero uh, PO4 out of your tank, you're good to go. Use the row of foss, 100% pure form of uh, GFO, this is the way to go guys. And just before I, this is what you can do, you can fill up uh, your media bag as well, fill it up and put it in a high flow area, but make sure to always rinse it with RO water before you put it in your tank, because you want to make sure to rinse it clean. You don't want to have any little particles floating around your tank guys. So like this one here, this is uh, the thousand uh, grams you can get, and then it comes in the other size too, guys. Uh, this one here is a five uh, kilogram, kilogram bucket as well. So it comes in all different sizes. So I hope you guys learned a little bit of something today on this episode of The Lab. So thanks for tuning in, guys. If you guys could please subscribe and hit the like button.